So hello and welcome to another episode of the Happiness Revolution where I talk about age old spiritual ideas, the ideas that have been around for hundreds of years, even thousands of years that will teach you how to change your life and change the world and these ideas, you know, they they talk about very practical and very logical things um, if you contemplate on them, they really do make sense. So you don't need to just believe in these ideas. Yeah, uh, there's a misunderstanding about faith that you just believe. That's that's not a very correct description of most faiths. There is some weird blinking going on. I don't know what's happening with my software. Hopefully my computer's not going crazy. Anyway, anyway, so. Let's talk about the the four steps to happiness. I've talked about it before, but um, every time I talk about it, I talk about it in a slightly different way because with as with all the things I talk about, there's slightly different angles, more to be explained so that it helps you more. Anyway, yeah, so what are the four steps very briefly? The first step is wishing well for people in your heart at least okay but verbally is even better and you wish them peace what does that mean wishing somebody peace that means peace as in you're wishing them well that they have a peaceful and happy life and you're wishing them, you're offering them peace from yourself. So if it's your neighbor and you don't really quite like them, you're still going to get out your way and at least wish them well from your heart. Because a lot, a lot of people in the West don't even talk to their neighbors. They don't even talk to anybody really. So that's what I find. Yeah, I brought up in London for the first 34 years of my life. Yeah, I'm quite sure about that. So... Um, yeah, so people don't really talk to each other, so you might not verbally say it, but at least say it from your heart, feel it from your heart. Okay, what does that do? That starts a domino effect. And that takes you to the next level where you start lo having love for humanity. When you have love for humanity, what happens is it opens up your heart in a very positive way. It opens up your mind, I should say. Because when you're feeling negative, and unfortunately being negative in the West is a kind of, uh, misunderst there's a misconnection, I should say. How do you say it? Misunderstanding or a connection that shouldn't be made. That if you're s suspicious of a fact or suspicious of an idea, or you're negative, that's somehow clever. That's not clever. Clever is trying to find truth wherever you can find it. So it opens up your mind. Love opens up your mind to the possibilities and lets you start absorbing truth from different places. And when you start absorbing truth from different places, you begin to realize the world isn't quite like you thought it was. It wasn't as narrow as you thought it was. There are lots of positive things happening all around you. And you go, right, it's possible the world can change. So when you have love, you begin to believe. And you begin to, when, you say, when I say begin to believe, part of that means you begin to hope. But also you begin to believe because of understanding, your greater understanding of what can be. You begin to believe more in spiritual ideas where before, especially these, vid these videos are for people in the West especially, I, I don't talk to, I don't do these videos particularly for people in the East because I've been brought up in the West and I understand people in the West better than I do in the East. So it's not that people in the East don't need any help. In fact, they're, they're kind of trying to take up Western ideas because it kind of, at a surface level, this materialism looks good, right? That's why people in the West took it up in the first place, right? But 
I, I can see more and more people are leaving this fake happiness of materialism. Anyway, so when you begin to believe, when you begin to believe you have hope, and only when you have hope can you be happy. Because hope is needed for happiness to th feel positive about what can happen. Say you're, say you've got loads of money or whatever, but then at d a certain moment in time, but you don't have hope for the future and you worry that you might lose all your money tomorrow and all that kind of stuff, which is a very natural thing to do, natural feeling to have. That's why people need more and more money to feel secure and all this kind of stuff. So hope is... And makes you feel secure in the future and the possibilities of what can happen what that tomorrow will be even better than today even if you go through different suffering and all this kind of stuff so those are the four stages first is pushing yourself to wi wish peace peace is a special word right so you wish peace for whoever you meet then you start having love for all of humanity as if they're all your brothers and sisters and you make this kind of you become united in spirit with everybody even if they don't do that back to you right then that leads you to so i said love right so after love then you get hope then you have paradise paradise on earth and in the next world so i'm gonna end the video here because my family is about to just come into the video. That's not such a bad thing, but it's a good way to end the video. Thank you for watching. Have you got any questions? Please ask. Please comment. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching.